All right, y'all. So this is where my front door is. I'm going to shut the door real quick. It's kind of loud. So our front door is right here and we never use it. I'm going to bring y'all in through the front door because we just did a living room fall in love with thrifting living room tour and now I'm going to take you into the kitchen area but we're going to go in this way because I figured it would be easier since we did just do the living room tour it would kind of help y'all a bit, little bit better understand about the layout of my house so there's the back door back there and that's what we normally come in okay so we talked about the bar stools the other day and then here is our bar but what we're going to start with is just over here at what I call our little eat-in kitchen area. Okay, so recently I just got that thrifted little broom over there. I think that just looks so country cottage propped up over there. And I do use it, and then I just prop it right back up over there. Now, the table that I have, it actually has a leaf that goes in it as well. I got this on Facebook Marketplace. Oh my goodness, what did I pay for this? I want to say I paid 50, $40 or $50. I can't remember exactly. Um, it does have a fourth chair, but we were just using that in our bedroom. Um, just for space and things right here. So, we use this. Um, Elizabeth sits here a lot. Um, the kids all do. My husband and I, we're really bad about sitting at the bar. Um, but here's the table. Now I have a stack of plates, a doily, a basket over there. All of that is from a thrift store. And I have had these same placemats on here for so long. I got those at Ross. I don't even know y'all so many years ago. But they're so easy to clean. They're like plastic and they're very very easy to clean so i love those you'll notice on the back of a couple of these chairs i have a couple of shawls or something like that i like to drape those not only over things in my living room and other rooms but i like to drape those over a couple of chairs here in my kitchen because somebody is always cold and they can just grab one of those wrap it around them while they're eating and solves that problem. Those are also from a thrift store. So don't forget to check the shawl section or the, I'm saying shawl, but maybe it is a, what do you call those things that go around your neck? I don't remember y'all. I'm sure somebody will tell me down in the comments. I did bring my little gravy boat back out. I thought it was appropriate for fall. And the little false craft plates again came with that set that I got at Salvation Army. The bigger set back there. Okay, so this is another one of those lamps that I got on 75% off at Hobby Lobby. I showed a couple of these in my living room when we did that tour. And these were next to nothing, y'all. I got such a good price on these. And then just um, some sheer curtains because I like to have natural light and be able to see outside. Now, I have big plans for above this window. <laughs> I'm wanting to put some sort of shelf up there. I don't know what yet, but... Um, I'm trying to get my husband to dip me something for over there. Okay, so here's the table. And then this is my, what I call my little coffee bar area. We'll get more into that in just a minute. But I wanted to show y'all these two shells that this was one shutter door. And we cut it in half, put it on some brackets here, and hung it on the wall. Let's start at the top. Um, let me just see if there's any decor on here. That is not thrifted okay the only thing on these two shelves because it would just be easier for me to tell you what's not thrifted than to tell you a hundred times what is thrifted so everything on these shelves here and hanging is thrifted except for these amber looking glass bottles i got these probably a couple years ago in target they are the, I want to say they're the Hearth and Hand. I may be wrong. They may be a different brand, but I got those on such a deep clearance that I couldn't leave those behind. I think I paid $2 for the big one and maybe a dollar for the little one. And then a couple other things that are not thrifted here is this tea towel is from um, Ikea. And then these I actually got, um, I think at TJ Maxx or somewhere. I had a subscriber send me some, but I don't think those are it. I think I got those at TJ Maxx or Ross, somewhere like that. Now, other than the greenery, those are the only things on these two shelves and the little hanging peg rack that are not thrifted. Everything else that you see 
here is thrifted. I did a little makeover on this thing here. I just think it's so cute. It reminds me of like a little, I don't know, a little order menu thing at a cafe or something. I just hung these little cups up here. So in the makeover video where I showed where we put these two shelves up, I wanted to add that we did add a little extra bracing under ours um, just because I knew I wanted to put dishes and stuff on it. And then under here, we used this peg rail that I also got out thrifting as the little bracing system for under here. And I have just a bunch of different things hanging on here. I like the way that looks. Um, I think in a country kitchen, things are just not perfect. In a country home, things are just, I don't know, kind of everywhere, but they serve a purpose also. So back here in this little hanging basket, I just have some tools. A little coffee mug over here by the coffee station. Little hot pads. Now, I don't really use this, but I do use this all the time. And I just hang it back up over here when I'm done. I think during Christmas I had put some lights in this on top of my refrigerator. But that's just a tip I can give y'all. Look for functional pieces that can also act as your decor. This is one of those things. I love this. I use this all the time. And when I'm done, I just hang it back up. And then I just have another thrifted little coffee mug. Just have that one hanging. It matches that one down there. And I just hung those up. For the fall season just to kind of give a little touch of fall and then that little ikea towel i just have hanging there all right so i'm going to step back and just give you a little overview of this open shelving area here in my kitchen So that leads us over here to this little area that I call my little coffee bar area. I just have my Keurig over here, my little frother over there on the side, and that of course is not thrifted. And the coffee cup is not thrifted either. Kelsey just brought me that the other day as a sweet little get well gift while I was recovering from this nasty virus. But everything else that you're going to see here on top of the coffee bar is thrifted. The decor here, this thing here. I got this at Goodwill a while back, and I'll never forget when I put this in my buggy. Um, it was like leaning up against one of their white walls, and you really couldn't see it. And when I had it in my buggy and was walking around, I cannot tell you how many people stopped me and said, where in the world was that? I didn't see there. I would have grabbed that up. But I love that piece. Actually, I've had a couple of people have borrowed this to use at their weddings, which I think is sweet. But I keep it here hanging on the side of my refrigerator. And I'm going to go ahead and address this now. People say, well, how in the world do you get this? Because this is kind of heavy to hang on the side of your refrigerator. Well, it needs a little touched up. You can see on the edge here. But I'm going to zoom in. I have a command strip here. And I went to hobby lobby and got some acrylic paint this same color as the side of my refrigerator i got it right the first time believe it or not and i put that command hook up there and i put a little bit of e6000 behind it now if you don't plan on leaving a hook up there i don't know if i would recommend e6000 because that stuff when it sticks it pretty much sticks this has been i've had that hook on there for years and I always have something on the side of my refrigerator. I am not one of those people that are big into having um, all the magnets and all the things on the refrigerator. It just it drives me crazy, so I don't have that. I don't have it on the front either. Um, That's just me personally. But so I have this little thing and I love it. Now I just got this picture here at a Goodwill, I think in Huntsville. And isn't that the cutest little thing? So this is the first thing I see when I get up to come make my coffee. Got that at Goodwill. And then some other little thrifted pieces down here are this little tray. This, this, the light. 
Um, I think I forgot to add the link for those bulbs. I will try to remember to do that, y'all. My brain has just not been working right lately being sick. So I'm going to try to remember to put the link to those bulbs down in my description box. And then just a little basket hanging on the side just to kind of give it that country look. Okay, so underneath the coffee bar, you might be saying, what in the world? That is nothing to do with coffee. That is correct, because I have decided that my pantry will not hold these jars. Um, some of the shelving in there is not very sturdy. So we're about to revise and remove and just do some things different with our pantry. I'm thinking about converting a whole closet that really holds nothing in it into a walk-in pantry because I hate my pantry so much. Um, I have all these canned goods here. These are things that I've just recently canned. And there's my homemade vanilla over there, which I'm going to show y'all what they look like here in just a minute, kind of give you a update. But these are things that I pull for and grab all the time. So I just left those out. And these are things that I just recently canned. But until I get a whole pantry conversion room made over for all this to go in, it's going to go here. I mean, we are a working ki kitchen, um, which means I can't just have decor everywhere. I have to have things that look beautiful, but are things that we're actually using and eating. So we, this kitchen sees a lot of food and a lot of people go through it. So this is not heavy at all. I know somebody's probably going to be concerned about my jars, but I promise it's, it's okay. And it's kind of temporary. So let me show y'all this vanilla that I made. I had them down here in the dark because they just need to be in a dark place. But look, look how dark it's getting already y'all. And it's only been what a week. Has it been two weeks? I don't think it's been two weeks. Maybe it has, but y'all, they look so good. So anyway, I just wanted to update y'all on that. And then I just have some extra little jars over here because, <clears throat> excuse me, I knew this was going to happen. I might have to stop, take a break, and film a little bit more later. I still get kind of choked up. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> these are for some spices I have coming from Azure Standard. So anyway, I have a one of these jars is in the dishwasher, but these are just half gallon size mason jars, which... I love. I don't have this stuff labeled because I know what it is. It's popcorn, rice, spaghetti noodles, and I have some beans and different things that go in those in the back, but um, they haven't got here yet. They are on order, and one is in the dishwasher. So now let's move to the top of the refrigerator, and let me just go over decor up there. Okay, so if you're standing down from my point of view in the kitchen, I'm 5'4". This is how you see it. If you're my husband, this is probably how you see it. <laughs> but I'm going to stand down here and kind of walk y'all through some of these things. A couple of these things are new that you will see in my kitchen. The basket that you see in the very back, I just got from a subscriber. And y'all, I was ecstatic to get that. I am so excited to have that up there. The top of my refrigerator has been pretty plain. All through summer, all I had was this big crock from Tractor Supply with my rolling pins in it. So that is all I've had up there all summer. So for the fall, I said, I need all the things. I want all my stuff up here. I love having um, a decorated refrigerator top. I just think it is so cute. And then another thing that a subscriber sent me is that rolling pin that you see there with the green handled ends. I love that. Y'all know who you are if you sent me that. I appreciate you so, so much. I love this copper teapot that is thrifted. Okay, so on to some of the other thrifty pieces. You can see that green tin that is behind this copper pot. I just got that recently, as well as the plates that are on top of it holding the little green pumpkin. I love, love, love those so much. Um, the copper pot I got last year, I believe, it was out thrifting. But now this big crock that I got, I've mentioned this before, I got this at Tractor Supply. And I think they did a really good job on making those. And actually those were on clearance at our Tractor Supply here recently. So if you're interested, you might check your local Tractor Supply. So like I said, that basket was just sent to me by a sweet subscriber. Thank you so much. You know who you are. And then all of those books and those thermoses and the little brass looking chicken here those are all thrifted the little garland not garland wreath that you see leaned up against the basket that's from hobby lobby but 
for the most part, all of this is thrifted. I'm pretty sure this is too big of a space to be calling it a vignette, but I love how it all came together using thrifted pieces with the exception of a couple. I think it is beautiful. I think you could thrift you something that looks like the crock and kind of remake this whole area on top of your refrigerator if you wanted to because there's not a lot of difficult pieces up here. Okay, and before I step back and give you an overview, I'm just going to show you on top of my pantry. All I have up there is a bunch of thrifted baskets and some greenery. So now I'm going to step back and just show you another reason you need to fall in love with thrifting because decorating the top of your refrigerator with thrifted finds can be so much fun. Okay, so here's that big old pantry I'm always talking about. <laughs> Nothing fancy there. Um, and then over here in the corner, I just have a couple Hobby Lobby signs and baskets. And those baskets hold my potatoes. And then there's just the trash can and the dog food. Nothing really fancy over there. And then above my door, I did put that little drip and dry thing um, that I got at the estate sale. So many of y'all told me that I needed to hang that up, but that is the only place that I could find a space for that right now. So it is hanging there for now. I know it's a little high, but it's there above the door until I can find a different place for it. So here is the back door area. And then, so if you come in through the back door, the first thing you're going to see is this little peg rail here that I got um, thrifting somewhere and then I just have a few things hanging on it I have another Ikea towel a thrifted basket and I think that came from the Dollar Tree y'all like one or two years ago and I just hung it there on that little peg rail I thought it would be cute right there as, as soon as you first walked in and then I just have a few little old vintage utensils hanging in that basket there so this is what it looks like when you first come in um, my back door of my kitchen again like i said this is where we mostly come in and then you can see straight through to my living room and you can see that front door there there are some people that come to the front door because they don't don't know any better but like i said if you come in you'll see that little peg rail there and then we'll swing around and i'll start to show you some things here on this counter Okay, again, this is a working kitchen, and I've been working those vitamins like crazy, so I wanted to keep those out so that I could be sure and see those and take those every day. So for now, they're just kind of sitting in that bowl, and these two bowls I got at Goodwill, as well as all three of these books come from thrifting, this little rooster tin, and all three of these Wexford pieces here. I use these because I think that they are beautiful, but they are also useful. So I have oatmeal, grits, and malto meal. These are things that we cook and eat for breakfast a lot. So it just made sense to leave them out and store them in something beautiful. You'll notice I have two large ones here and then I have a smaller one. Well, I needed the larger one <laughs> to hold my grit. Well, I'm hoping to find another large one to put right here. And then I'll move this little medium size one over to my whole baking um, uh, what do you call it shelving area which i'll be showing y'all in just a minute like i said cookbooks are here so we can easily grab them and then the little cake stand i can't remember if i said this is from hobby lobby or not but it it is from hobby lobby years ago so this is what this little area looks like when it's clean and then just down here is my dishwasher but i was going to share with y'all that i normally because i just want to keep it real i always have a drying mat of some sort on my countertop I have a dishwasher and I do use it but because we do cook a lot I prefer to wash big bowls big pots things like that and let them just dry here so I always try to have a drying mat that in my opinion is like seasonal or cute and this I got at Hobby Lobby and it was only a few bucks after the half off 
so that's something else I like to do in my kitchen is I like to use things that I feel like make it fun and so you'll notice that with a lot of the little spoons and jars and different things like that that I use I love for my kitchen to be functional beautiful and just I love to use fun things also so you'll see that here in a minute when I get to some of the little measuring spoons and stuff so anyway this is that area and now I'm gonna move to the area here above this um, countertop here which is just a little open shelving and I just did this we did a whole um, kitchen makeover gosh what has it been probably a year and I I can link that video down below but this used to have the cabinet doors on it and I took the cabinet doors off I wanted it to have like open shelving for our cups and different things so that's what I did here I just have everything everything except for the greenery and this open shelving right here is thrifted some of them I've had um, from thrifting a long time like the canisters on the top shelf I love those they are beautiful and they hold things for me so everything on here serves a purpose it is either storage for kitchen items or food and I just love that the bread box there is holding all extra vitamins and then I have some little thrifted napkins there that I just like to use for little hand towels sometimes but everything that you see is thrifted the pie plate in the very back okay I'll take that back no this was thrifted I got this at a garage sale I believe so never mind I thought the pumpkin wasn't thrifted but yes it is I love all the little different colors here with the green from the pie plate the blue from the little pitcher that's my little cheese bowl I got at Goodwill. Some little butter pats from an antique store. And then all of these cups I just thrifted recently. And I love those. And this is a recent thrift find also. And this just stores things for me. Um, which I love. And I am using. Um, so it serves a purpose. And I feel like it gave it a little bit of that wood tone I was looking for there. Like it's so beautiful. Here's a look at this little cabinet right here. Okay, so you might notice, I'll go ahead and show you around the um, top of my cabinets. I have all of those restaurant plates. I have those all the way around, except for above my bar. They didn't have enough, so I still need to purchase at least two more to go over there. So I'm looking for those every time I go in the thrift store. But all of these big restaurant wear type platters I got up here, I'm going to I'm going to You want a muffin? Mm -hmm. This one has walnuts. Do you want one with walnuts or without walnuts? Um, not that. Not that? You want that one? Not okay, that. hold on. Let me get you one without walnuts. I think that's what you want. Not okay, we we'll have to sit at the table and eat this, okay? okay. You want all of it or just some of it? Um, you want just that one? Okay, go to the table. Okay, I can't remember what I was saying right. Came in and needed some chocolate milk. Like I told y'all, this is a working kitchen. There's always somebody needing something to eat or drink. So since I shared that around with y'all, we'll just kind of go to my windowsill and over here by my sink, this little area here. So this light fixture I get questions about, that came from Amazon. It was really inexpensive, um, maybe $30, $40. I, I don't know with inflation now, it may be more, but when I got it, it wasn't really that expensive and then so over here I just have a little basket and a little copper piece I really like these pieces um, you'll definitely have to watch my kitchen uh, makeover video because my cabinets used to be like brown almost brown like that so I'm loving having some of this stuff in here just pops off of this heirloom white that I put on the top anyway the little coffee and junk and sign that came from kelsey she got me that one year for christmas i think she got it at tractor supply years ago this big um, colander here i got at goodwill probably just very recently and i love that thing and i use it constantly especially for canning and so i just hung it right there um <laughs> because it's cute and it's convenient and it's easy to grab and then here in the windowsill i have just all thrifted items except for some of the florals 
all of this stuff came from a thrift store i love these little creamers like this i think this actually came from a subscriber i think it's a little um like a salt or pepper shaker is so cute so i just have this sitting in the windowsill like that i think it's so adorable and then like i said i've just been collecting all of these things and of course i love to stack dishes um, I'm probably going to put that little juicer up. I kind of had brought that out for the summertime just because, I don't know, lemons and all the sort of thing just kind of made me think of spring and summer. But I may put that up and just make some space because I will be opening my window now that it's finally cooling off a little bit. But y'all, these little knives, these little butter knives, I keep these right here because I grab for them constantly for butter. So it's just easy for me to have them right there. And I love, you know, you got your silver... Um, colander up here and then you got your little silver knives right here and I actually do use those and then all the fun little pitchers and butter pats that are here I put this here because if we lose electricity I like to have one here in the kitchen so I just leave that one there it's full of um, my flameless liquid stuff whatever it's called that goes in there and then little all these just old vintage little utensils i've just collected along the way a little cutting board i just have that leaning up against there just to bring a little warmth but yeah so this is what i look at at my kitchen sink i love all of this thrifted decor over here right so just to backtrack a little bit we came in the back door we went over this cabinet here by my sink and then over here is where i probably spend the most time in this kitchen over here and at the bar honestly because this is where i'm constantly standing and cooking and washing dishes and you know doing all of the magic over here so i just have some paper towels and this is a thrifted paper towel holder that i purchased um I don't know if it was at a garage sale or at a thrift store. I can't remember, but I do know that it's thrifted. My little grease can that so many of y'all fell in love with when I purchased that um, at a garage sale, I believe. And I do actually keep bacon grease in that now. I used to hide Reese's peanut butter cups in there, but I don't anymore because I'm trying to get off of them things. Um, my KitchenAid. And a lot of y'all ask me about my KitchenAid and the color of my KitchenAid. Well, y'all, there's a story behind that KitchenAid. I got that at Walmart on clearance probably four or five years ago for $75. Uh, no joke. Like, it was on clearance. Um, I was following this lady a long time ago, and she was telling people to check their Walmarts, and sure enough, I went and scanned mine, and mine came up for $75 brand new, but it was only this color. Um, luckily, I love that color, so I had no problems purchasing that. So I do love my KitchenAid. It works really hard for me. This little copper piece here, the little plates, and this pitcher, these are all thrifted. The little plates, I don't know exactly what you call these or what their intended purpose are, but I love this little restaurant wear stuff here. They're like the big ones hanging above my cabinets. And I use these as spoon list, spoon rest, y'all. So like when I am cooking and just need to you know lay a spoon down i just pull one of these out instead of having a different type of spoon rest i just i love these because i love how they look when they're not being used as a spoon rest and when they're being used they're just perfect and easy to clean all right so look at here i didn't even have this all fixed cute but you know what it is is we're we're past cute right now but this little pitcher holds all of my wooden utensils because that is what i use and cook with the most um very rarely will i pull out a metal utensil and use it while i'm cooking i will use them for serving but not necessarily for cooking so i use wooden spoons mostly for cooking so i just leave them over here because i use them the most all right and then this little area over here of course is my stove top and i thrifted that little shelf and put um all that little decor on there there's not a lot of practical stuff on there i just i do want things to look nice and be fun to use while i'm cooking so i put this little shelf here 
because all of these thrifted items except for this now i did get this y'all believe it or not one year it's been several years i got that at dollar general so i mean don't go to sleep on your dollar general don't forget <laughs> after you check the thrift store if you can't find it check your dollar general because sometimes they have some really neat little things and of course i have another one of those little platters back there because you know why not I have them everywhere um and i got this at a thrift store one time and i love this little thing a lot of y'all told me this was for holding like little jellies and stuff well i used to keep seasonings in them and i learned real quick that that was that was not big enough for as much seasoning as i use so i had to transfer to some bigger bottles <laughs> like these bottles here are mainly what i keep a lot of my spices in and these are all thrifted as well so let me not get off track um up here these things are also thrifted the little basket and that little it looks like a little seasoning picture or something i'm not really sure what that is but i got it at a thrift store um excuse me for the sniffles it's, it is what it is um the little sifter is thrifted and i believe the little doily is either thrifted or gifted i've mentioned this before i received a bunch of doilies from a subscriber and i've kind of forgot which ones she sent and which ones i've thrifted so it's either thrifted or gifted and i'll leave it at that okay so right here i keep this little tray and i'm always kind of changing this up but i do love to have this stuff here because i use these items the most excuse me hold on because i do use these items the most when i'm cooking and i've mentioned this before always put something on a plate or a platter or something now i did put this on a lazy susan just because i changed some things up on my bar and i still wanted to use it but i thrifted every one of these things that you see here the plate this every container you see holding seasoning all thrifted now these little spoons are from hobby lobby and i do get a lot of questions about them they are so stinking cute aren't they i love these i keep these over here because i use this one primarily for salt and i use the other ones because they're tall and they will reach down in these jars pretty easy for me so i did get these at hobby lobby i want to say in the springtime but you might just check and see if they have any in the fall stuff they might and their stuff holds up pretty well i don't wash it every time i dip it into these seasonings i just kind of wipe it off but i do hand wash them when they need washing okay so this little area over here is just the area beside my stove nothing fancy here i have some pioneer woman knives and a little shelf i got at hobby lobby and my thrifted little tea container right here and i do keep tea bags in there and that's something else i keep out because we are constantly okay that's empty so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put that in the sink so i can get ready to wash that i've been on a mission to um rejar up and do my spices a little bit differently so i have three of the ones that i use the most i don't have chili powder out here and something else but i got one of those little label makers that does like the embossing and i think that's what it's called embossed where it looks just you know vintage and old-fashioned and so i put them in these mason jars that i just got at goodwill i cleaned those up and i put some of my favorite spices in there and i labeled them with that label maker and i love that thing <clears throat> excuse me y'all i'm trying um so i do have three more jars that are clean and i'm waiting on some spices to come in on my asia standard haul so as soon as those get here i'll be refilling and putting three more of my favorite spices over there but yeah so that's kind of what this area looks like to the left of my sink and honestly this is where a lot of the cooking magic happens is on this side of the kitchen and our microwave is just above and then these doors here i had um there was some old plastic something in those i don't know and when i did our kitchen remodel i took those out and put some of that thrifted fabric in there i don't know if i mentioned that over here or not but over here i have some thrifted fabric that i put on the back of every one of these shelves just to kind of bring a little bit of that fabric look out and i have some here and i also have some here hanging above my little oven and y'all this oven this is the same oven that my husband's mom cooked in y'all we just could not kill this thing it is so old and 
it still works. One time it quit working and my dad come over and tried to help look at it and they got so frustrated. Him and Larry took this thing completely apart, could not figure it out and literally my dad started just beating on something up here with a um, screwdriver or something. I mean just started banging on it. He thought well what's it gonna hurt? It's not working. He all started working after that. Like I don't recommend you go beat your oven to make it work but it worked for us. So anyway, old is not always bad. Sometimes old will do you just what you need it to do. So don't think that just because something is older that it's not good because it is. And then, of course, I have some more of that little fabric. And I've mentioned this before, but these little hooks that I have up here, I just put a little tension rod up there. And these hooks that I use come from Hobby Lobby. And then I just have some cute little tea towels that I hang here. Kind of when the seasons change, I'll change those out nothing fancy. I don't use these. Uh, I have other ones that I use because they would not look like this if I used them. They're very pretty and everybody knows that these are just kind of my decorative towels here. The ones that I use all the time are normally over at the sink but I went and threw those in the wash before I started this little kitchen so tour. Here's a glance at my lower cabinets. Um, I promise I'm going to try to put on the screen here the name of the paint that I used. When I did that kitchen makeover, I failed to do that. And I still to this day get questions about the color of the paint that's on my bottom cabinets. Um, but I do love my kitchen makeover, the painting and everything that I did. I am still in love with it. It just reminds me of an old country kitchen still. And I love it. So if you were standing here looking at my stove, I thought I would just swing y'all over and show you what I have here in the middle. So I have this cabinet here. Well, it's not really a cabinet. I guess it's a, a shelving unit maybe that this also belonged to my husband's parents. So I thought it was just appropriate to have it here in the kitchen. I used to not have this in here, but what I found was I was constantly going back and forth over here to my pantry. Anytime I needed to bake or cook something, which is constantly. <laughs> and I just found that this made things so much easier for me to have the things that I grab for and use the most right here within reach. So like here I am at the stove. I can turn right around and grab something that I may need. Um, I have regular table salt here because some of the bread recipes and stuff that I use call for that. But I cook a lot with Celtic salt or Celtic salt. I forgot how you say it. And then a couple of other salts, but I just do not use regular Morton's table salt for all my cooking. And I just have different things down here that we grab for a lot. So again, like I said, this is a working kitchen. It's not all just, you know, beautiful decor, but I do try to turn my food into something beautiful to look at and make it fun to use, you know, to be in the kitchen cooking. I like to have fun little things like these little oh hold on piper you know better like these fun little measuring cups that i use a lot those are from hobby lobby they did have a string running through them but i use them too much for that and then a lot of this stuff is thrifted this little bowl these little bowls um the little jar you see here the little wexford piece there that holds my little um parchment paper little baking cups that I love and some of the mason jars that I've thrifted and then just I have some empty spaces because I'm out of some things and then it just holds a lot of things that I use a lot on a daily basis but this little shelf something like this you could definitely find out thrifting I love that it's like open so all I have to do is reach around to get what I need now I almost put this up <laughs> but y'all um there's Piper. Piper, why are you licking my bucket? Okay, so I almost put these up. These are two and a half gallon um, extra storage buckets and I keep one has sugar and one has flour. Like I said, I just left it in here because y'all, this is real. This is how I normally keep the stuff in my kitchen. I don't store these in the other pantry or anything. I just keep them out here because they are smaller, but because I do go through sugar and flour so much, it's just easier for me to keep it in here and then refill my smaller containers over here and on my countertop. Okay, y'all. I'm so sorry. I am trying to get through this without having to stop and cough or choke every five minutes. So if I sound very stuffy, I apologize, but 
I do feel better. I just sound really horrible. All right, so y'all, this is my little island. And I've had people tell me before, your island is just too little. And I agree and I disagree. It is holding everything that I need it to hold. Um, I got it off Marketplace for next to nothing. And I brought it home and painted it. I painted it the same color as the top of my cabinets. And um, this is kind of our fruit and vegetable section where things that I don't want to put in the refrigerator. I don't like my apples to be cold. I like to leave them out. So I have apples. I normally have bananas and other things. But right now, I haven't been able to get to the store or do pickup in a few days. So we just have some apples and an abundance of potatoes. <laughs> and our chickens are laying really well. So we keep fresh yard eggs out. As long as you do not wash these, they come straight from the coop. We don't wash them. We just leave them room temperature. And again, this is handy because we have eggs and cook them a lot. So they are right here easy for me or Elizabeth or anybody to grab that wants to make an egg. So I think my point was is this little bowl here is a thrifted piece. This picture here as a thrifted piece. I got it at an estate sale as well as this little doily. And this, y'all... I used to try to do the whole tear tray decorate with me and all that kind of stuff. And I believe back in a long time ago, I even tried to make a couple of videos about it. But y'all, that is just not me. Like I, my tear tray needs to be holding some food. It needs to be holding some things that are functional. And I'm not saying that not all of them do, but the whole decorate with me, your tear tray thing, it, it was not my thing. Um, so I had to do away with that. And I got this way before, I got this years before tear trays were even a trend. I got this at Goodwill for $5 years ago before I ever even started doing videos. And I have kept it here pretty much ever since. I did try to change it out one time. Kelsey bought me a bigger tear tray to do decorate and all that. I tried it. I just, I really didn't like it. For some reason, I love how this one looks and it just kind of grounds my kitchen i don't know why i just i love this one and i always 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 end up putting this one back so i've just left so yeah that's my little island oh and back to i have thought about doing a bigger island now this one does i was going to show y'all this one does have a little thing and we use this quite often as well it has a little thing under there that you, you can, can use to prop this up but i keep it down most of the time because Elizabeth needs it. It's easier for her to get around all the way around the kitchen. If we don't have something too too big here, she uses a wheelchair. And it's just easier for her to get around in the kitchen if we don't have anything too big. Okay, so now we kind of went around the stuff in the middle of the kitchen. Oh, and here's my... I got this year before last at Hobby Lobby when they were doing their... You know, when they're seasonal stuff went on sale like after fall it had finally went to like 75 percent off and i think i got this for like under five dollars and y'all i still see this same apron in there for like twenty dollars i think or 25 dollars. i can't remember i'm sure you get it half price now since it's on sale but i just think it's so funny that i got that for such a good deal and i do use it you probably see some food on it right now because i haven't washed it but i really need to <laughs> So, okay, so we're back over here when you come in the back door. So here's the island. Just to kind of give you an overview of what we're looking at. So we walked in. We've went around this way. We've talked about the stuff in the middle. It's all thrifted or gifted. And so now I'm just going to walk you around over here on the other side of my stove. And show you a few things here. Y'all, after we did our kitchen makeover, this was one of my favorite spots these copper pots i had thrifted and i loved them so much but they just didn't feel right in my kitchen because i had wood i had wood countertops all this was wood so after i painted this kitchen and hung these up i was like oh my goodness i am so in love with this color because the copper just looks so beautiful on top of that white and also all of our hardware I know this is getting off subject here, but all of our hardware 
is actually copper. We just cleaned them up and left them. I almost replaced these with black, but I'm so glad I didn't. I'm so glad I stuck with what was original. And so you might be able to see it a little better right here. But yeah. So anyway, yes, I'm so glad that I stuck with the original hardware because I think it is beautiful. Okay, kind of got off track a little bit. But anyway, those three um, copper pieces hanging there are all thrifted. And then over here, I just ran out of water in this. I've been running my diffusers like crazy since I've been sick, but it just ran out. So just pretend, <laughs> just pretend it's going and it looks pretty. But I got a couple of these little restaurant wear type plates that I think just y'all i layer everything I, I have people comment all the time and say do you have to layer everything well yes i do it's my house and if i want to layer it i'm gonna layer it so i got these plates both thrifted and i will probably have a stack like i don't know this big before it's all done because i love those type platters all right so back here in the corner i'm sorry that light might be kind of messing up there we go it's kind of focused a little bit now but do y'all see this little thing right here i think this just looks like a little um buffet no a little hutch i think it looks like not a buffet it looks like a little corner hutch to me i bought this at goodwill or a thrift store garage sale i can't remember it's thrifted though and i brought it home i can't remember what color it was i think it was like an, a, a weird looking green and i don't know i might be wrong but i spray painted it and i kind of distressed it and i put one of those little candles on top of it under here and i love how that looks it just kind of fills in that corner just enough and I think it is super, super cute. Now, these little salt and pepper shakers down here I got at a garage sale for really inexpensive. I just love how old and country looking they are. They're all chipped up. I don't use these for salt and pepper, but um, I just use them kind of tucked in over here on the corner. Here's the rooster. So sweet. I think I paid like 50 cents for those or maybe even 25 cents. I don't know. I just, I really like the way... They look over here kind of like they're nestled in their little pen over here. So moving forward, the cutting board is thrifted. And this little tray here is thrifted as well as all of the Wexford pieces that I use. And this is what I like to call my smoothie station. I keep um, protein powder. I usually keep peanut butter powder in here, but right now I have some cranberries and flaxseed in here. And I just have a couple more of these spoons that I just keep over here because I use those to spoon out some of these things. When I make a smoothie, I have all of the dry ingredients that I put in my smoothie just right here, ready to go. Okay, y'all, making progress here. I know this is a long video, but I thought I would share these clear canisters that I got. Now, the one in the middle is a big one, and I did get that at a thrift store. I want to say that is a one gallon or a two gallon, and these are half gallons. I can't remember. But if you look closely, these are smaller. And I wanted them to be a little bit smaller. And I might get another small one to put there in the middle. Because this one does kind of stick out really far. But I love these canisters because these are the, the flowers and the sugars that I use the most. So I have pure cane sugar, bread flour, all-purpose flour. And it just makes sense to make them sit out on my counter and I want them to look pretty while they're out here so I add these little I got these one year was it last year that I got these at a thrift store and there was a set of three and you know what that's okay I almost just got two but I was like no I may add an extra um, canister or something that I want to you know add an extra cup to and I'm so glad that I did because these look so cute in your canisters y'all so buy you some pretty little teacups and add them to your canisters and this gives a little touch of fall without you know going overboard i just think it's so cute and then i have the same one in there and i think i might have paid might i can't remember exactly but i might have paid i don't know a dollar for all three of these uh, cups a dollar for all three of the cups so let's just make sure we're clear on that these little canisters the smaller canisters here i got at target and then i got this bigger one one day when i was thrifting at goodwill the little plates here the little stoneware plates um i got at a thrift store also all right so we are almost finished we have the bar to go and then above the bar and that won't take long at all so over here is my little 
butter bell that I picked up at Goodwill not too long ago and it is still working like a charm as you can see I have my butter in there and it's still looking good so I'm gonna put that back in there I just changed that water yesterday so I just keep cold water in it and I keep it over here on my bar because that way it's away from my stove top and all and it won't be you know trying to melt this little this is not a crock this is a I don't really know what you call this but I thrifted this at a garage sale many many years ago I got my little recipe my little hen recipe card holder here that I love and then this piece here this black piece here I was trying this out on top of my refrigerator I don't know <laughs> last fall or I don't even remember it wasn't during the summer but I, I didn't like it up there I got this actually from Kelsey and Kelsey is my daughter in case you don't know and she bought it at a garage sale well she was getting rid of it so I said you're not taking that to the thrift store give that to me I want that I love anything that you know looks like a riser so I took and painted it and distressed it and I love it it's got these little drawers which is handy you know for holding things so I love that little piece and it kind of helps fill in this corner over here okay so on top of this I keep y'all can you even stand how cute this little hen on the nest is here I just got this in um, from the same subscriber that sent me the basket and if y'all could have heard how excited I was when I opened that basket and that was in there I could not contain myself that is adorable and like my style 100% so I took and put toothpicks in it I'm using it as a little toothpick holder my husband likes to have his toothpicks after after we eat and then just a couple of thrifted books and this little wire chicken over here little wire hen she holds all of my collection of my little miniature salt and pepper shakers which they don't have salt and pepper in them I just I just love how it looks in there so that's what's over here in this little corner and this doily I do know is thrifted from Salvation Army because I bought like a six pack of those and I kind of have those everywhere well then all I have left here on my bar is just this little silver platter that I just got out thrifting at Goodwill along with this little thing here I got this at Goodwill also a little doily again thrifted or gifted can't remember um, this is also from Goodwill this little ironstone creamer I love it and this is a salt and pepper shaker that a subscriber sent me I don't even know probably over a year ago and we still use it <laughs> but I love how this looks here it just looks very simple and I normally have the candle going but riots here so I ended up blowing it out because he was like climbing all over the bar but yeah so this is this is all I have again on my bar and I like to contain things I think it looks pretty to make a little vignette but I also find that it's very easy to move this um, we serve a lot of our Sunday dinners and food here we just bring it over here and do like a buffet style so I find it easier to move things if I have them on little trays so that's all I have there on my bar all right so y'all notice this little cabinet I've noticed in several of my videos it is cracked we just bought some new little latches to help fix some of that because I find that since I've painted and done a lot to these cabinets there a couple of them don't want to close good so I had to buy some new latches to um, put on those to hopefully keep that shut I don't that was bothering me I don't know why oh but in the front of it y'all see where I put some more of that material on that one too um, anyway okay so above my bar focus Julie all right so I have all thrifted bread bowls up here and I think they are beautiful I cannot wait to have stacks and stacks of these up here I love them so much and I know exactly which ones to grab that I can use to do my bread in somebody told me that even though these are cracked that I could still use them um, I have this one here on the end that has no cracks or anything and I do pull and use that one all the time to let my dough rise in so anyway that is everything here above my bar all right y'all so that is gonna wrap up my little fall in love with thrifting kitchen tour I hope that y'all enjoyed getting to see a little glimpse into my kitchen 
and all of the thrifted items that I use and that um, are beautiful but also very useful in my kitchen as well. So I encourage you to check out your thrift stores, your secondhand stores, yard sales, garage sales. You just never know what you'll come across or what you might be able to use in your kitchen um, that is useful, that is helpful, and that also just makes cooking and doing everyday kitchen chores fun. All right, y'all, thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen today. I know that this was a super long video, but like I said in the living room tour video, I really want to give good detailed tours in this fall in love with thrifting series that I'm doing. So I hope that y'all enjoyed that. I hope that y'all have a wonderful week. We love y'all and I'll see you back here Friday with a brand new thrifting video.